Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can combine multiple sheets in an Excel workbook using Power Query. So in this example, we've got a couple sheets of data, and they've got similar data in each sheet, but in each sheet the order of the columns is different, or we might have some missing columns or additional columns, etc. So we're going to use Power Query to combine these sheets based on the column heading name. So this way all the similar data is going to end up in the same column. So let's take a look at how we can do this. So I've just opened up a new workbook and I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to go to get data and we're going to go from a Excel workbook. And then the data that I want to combine is just in my desktop. So let's go there and here it is, example data. Let's import that. And you can see it's listed out all the sheets and now I could select all of them to import, but this wouldn't be a very dynamic uh, way of doing things. So if we had a new sheet in our workbook, it wouldn't pick that up. So instead what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna select one of these and it can be anyone. So let's just select the first one. And I'm going to go to transform data. Now I can see a preview of that sheet's data. And over here in the applied steps, I've actually got some automatic steps that have been applied. So I've got a change type and I'm just going to delete that. And also I've got this navigation step. And if I delete that, what you can see is that we've got all of the sheet's data here in the source step. And if I click on any one of these, then I can actually see a preview of that data down here. And you'll notice that each of these tables actually has generic column header names. And you can see the first row of data here is the column headers that we actually want. So we're going to need to promote those into column headers. And to do that, we're gonna go up to the add column tab and we're gonna add a custom column. Now let's call this data2, for example, and we're going to use a Power Query function called table.promoteHeaders, and all that does is just promote the first row of data into column headings. Now we're just going to pass our data column into this function, and press OK. And that goes ahead and creates us a new column here. And if we take a peek in those tables, we can see that each of those now has the proper column headings that we want. Now we don't need the rest of these columns here. So I'm just going to right click on my new data two column and remove other columns. And I'm gonna come back to this in a minute. So now we're gonna actually combine all these tables in another Query. So I'm going to right click here and we're going to go to new query and other sources and we're just going to start a blank query. And now I'm going to type out equals and table dot combine. So down here and it's added that a second time. And so this is a function that's going to take a list of tables, so tables as list, and it's going to return a table that is the result of merging all those listed tables. And so what we've got here in our sheet one query is we've got a table of tables. So what we need to do is convert this into a list of tables. So I'm gonna select this column and go up to the transform tab. And there's an option here, convert to list. So let's use that. And now we've got a list of those tables and we can use that in our query here for our table dot combine input. So I'm just gonna reference this, the sheet one query that we had. And this is a list and it's a list of tables, so it should work with our table.combine function. 
So let's enter that. And you can see now that what we have is a single data set of all our columns. So it's combined all five of those sheets based on the column heading name and combined it into a single data set. So now I can close and load this. Let's load it into our workbook as a table and Now here is our combined data set. So that's how you can combine sheets in an Excel workbook with Power Query, even if they don't have the same layout for each sheet. So we can use the table.combine Power Query function to append the data based on column heading names. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.